end of my 5K longer distance running season is officially over today. Um, ran in my hometown, Brookville, PA, YMCA Turkey Trot 5K. And it will be the last time for quite a while that I'll be running my hometown. Um, the past three or four races I've been to, they've changed the course. And nobody knows that they changed the course until you get there. And they keep on making the courses dumber and dumber and stupider and stupider. This course is probably 60% uphill. And it was just stupid circles weaving in around town. It was... And then to top it all off, for the second time in like three weeks, nobody knew what was going on. I ended up running 0.4 extra miles. I still won the race just because nobody was there, but you know I was already jacked because they did it. They changed it to a stupid course, and this was I didn't train for this 5K. I am already started my shorter training, but I still could have ran 16:30 something. If they just would have done the old course that they, the best course that they've ever done, if they would have just done it there, but they changed it, made the stupid super hilly course. So I was already jacked because I knew I'm not going to be able to get out the pace I need to get out to run a 1630 something. And I would have finished probably 1740, 1730, but nobody, nobody could tell me where to go. I got back and asked this guy where I needed to go, and he's like, oh no. So I ended up going 0.4 miles more. Almost lost to a, almost lost to a kid who I coach in cross country. I had a three minute lead on him by the time I actually got back to where we were supposed to be. He'd caught up to me, and I was just—it's ridiculous. I'm not running there anymore. It bums me out because I like running here in Brookville, and I'm not running there until they pick a course and they stay to that course. It's cool if you want to change the course every like few years or so, but they've changed it. They've changed it the past three times I've been there, and it's ridiculous. Like they did it when I trained when I when my girlfriend did her first race, and I tr I helped my girlfriend train for her first race. She was already so nervous because she wasn't 100% confident in herself yet. She was nervous that there was going to be a bunch of people there watching her run. And then we're sitting there on the starting line, and they're like, "Oh, we changed the course because we wanted to try something different." I don't give a crap if you want to try something different. You can't keep on changing the course. I mean, it already freaked her. I had to calm her down. It freaked her out. And it just takes me off because you don't need to – if you want to try something different, you don't need to do it every couple months every time you do a race. You need to find something you like and stick to it. I don't care if you pick this crappy course I did today. Just make that the course you're going to do every time for the next few years. Then you can change it. My mom was talking to somebody. They're like, oh, we want to try something different because people get bored running the same thing. I don't – I don't get bored running the same thing. That's the only, the old course is the only one fast enough where you can actually run a decent time on it. And on top of that, once again, if you're going to have people volunteer to help out the race, I know none of them know diddly squat about running, but at least make sure they know what races are going on and where the course is. Because the two or three people I asked where I'm supposed to go had no idea what was going on. Like, I don't, I don't know where you go. And they just let me go find it myself. So thanks, YMCA, for screwing me over today. If anybody watches this video who knows anybody in the Brooklyn YMCA, you can show it to them. I didn't talk to any of you guys there because if any of you guys talked to me today, I would have said some very mean things to you. I hope I wasn't too mean right there. But if you want my nice version of it, if you want to keep on having good races and you want people to keep on coming, Pick a course, stick to the course, and make sure your volunteers actually know what's going on. Because when I'm out there running, I'm focusing on my running. Even if I, I liked running here in Brookville because I knew what course it was. And I, I didn't have to worry about if I'm going the right way. I can just run. When you guys keep on changing the course, I have to worry about that. You're taking mental energy away from my run. And you're putting my fate in the hands of people who don't know what the heck's going on. And it ticks me off. So I'm just I won't be running in Brookville unless you guys unless they clean it up, and I'll I'll do a race if my girlfriend wants to run a race next year. But I'm not running any races in Brookville until they pick a course, stick to it, and figure out what's going on. And I'm probably overreacting, but you know this is what you get when you actually care about running. And I'm the only person in this town who runs these races at the Y who actually really gives a crap about it. So.
whatever. That's my thoughts on it. I'm just these past. This is supposed to be a past two races here. Was supposed to be my big end to the season here, and they both they both been crappy. I got screwed over at both of them. So I'm just excited for Endor to come around now. I got some cool videos coming up here. I'm gonna try and do, and I'm just excited. I'm excited for Endor to start because nobody can screw me over when I'm running the mile indoors on a track. This is why track and field is awesome. I like distance running. I like cross country. I like 5Ks, 10Ks. I like long distance running, but track and field is where it's at. And as long as you're on a track, nothing bad can happen to you. So see you guys later.